we're gonna DIY a wreath. Now, I love to start with a ready-made wreath. It just makes it so much easier. This wreath I picked up at Walmart for under $20. So to DIY my wreath, I'm also going to need some black poster board, some fishing line, and some fairy lights. I wanted to create some little bats that I could add to my wreath. I found a template of a bat and I'm gonna cut that out. Next, I'm gonna put the template on my black poster board and trace around the bat. I'm gonna make nine bats. Once I have them all traced, I'm gonna cut them out. Next, I'm gonna poke a hole through the top of all of my bats. Now to attach them to my wreath, I'm actually gonna use fishing line. Now you may wonder why I'm using fishing line. I love how bouncy it is, and I think it makes a really cool effect when you add it to a wreath. So I'm going to cut off a piece of fishing line, tie it to the top of my bat. Going back to my wreath, it's super cute. It has black feathers all over it. I'm gonna flip it to the back side, and I'm gonna attach six of my bats to the bottom half of my wreath just using some hot glue. And I'll put three more at the top. With the fairy lights I picked up, I'm going to add the box that has the batteries in it to the back of my wreath. I'm gonna put that on with some heavy duty duct tape. Next, I'm just going to simply wrap my fairy lights all the way around my wreath. One of the tips I have whenever you're putting on your fairy lights and wrapping it is just pull out your feathers so that it looks a little bit more realistic and your lights are kind of set into your wreath. Once you get all the way around your wreath, you can use some duct tape to hold your fairy lights in place. You can style with some really cute pumpkins. There are so many to choose from right now at Walmart. I love that they light up. They're perfect for sitting out for Halloween. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable pumpkin garland. I found these pumpkin pom-poms in the fall section at Walmart. They come in a bunch of colors. I went with the yellows and oranges. I also picked up some black pipe cleaners and that's what you're going to use first. So take your pipe cleaner and you're gonna fold it in half. Next, you're gonna make a one inch loop where your pipe cleaner is folded. Then you're going to twist the loop and hot glue it to the base of the stem. Then you're going to wrap around the excess pieces about two times. Then to curl them on the edges, I just grabbed a dowel rod and I'm gonna twist that on either side. And that's how you create a stem for your pumpkin that's gonna work for your garland. Repeat this step for all of your pom-poms. To attach them, you're going to need a long piece of twine. I'm also going to be using the fishing line that I was using earlier. So cut off a piece of fishing line. You're gonna loop it through that black stem loop that you created earlier, and then you're going to tie that tightly to your twine. Now you wanna make sure that your pom-poms are evenly spaced. So grab any object you had. I have this foam brush. I'm gonna set that in between my pumpkins, and then I'll attach my next pumpkin on using that foam brush as my spacer and I'll repeat that until I have all my pumpkins added. These are great to hang up on your fireplace. You can also put them on a door. They're super festive. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.